Hey Taurus and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your 12 zodiac compatibility reading for the month of June. Bottom of the deck will be your energy with one clarifier and then I will go through Aries through Pisces to see where your relationship is headed in June. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright. Let's get down here. All right, your guys' energy, beautiful, the Six of Wands, clarified by the Five of Swords. All right, if you are a Taurus dealing with an Aries, you are in a time of pause or they, uh, where they have taken a step back from the connection to see um, whether or not they... Uh, want to move forward with this. They are going to be enlightened in this time of pause, in this delay, um, and they are going to make their way back towards you. There will be success in this relationship. However, I do not see you um, getting together in the month of June. I do see it being July before the two of you will um, settle the differences, will um, leave behind all of the negative energy and give this a go again. Um, they will realize... Uh, how much they love you and how much they want to be with you in this time of taking a step back and reevaluating uh, the relationship and uh, their situation as a whole. All right, if you are a Taurus dealing with a Taurus, um, they are going through a transformation. Put it um, whichever one fits with you on this one. Um, the two of you uh, are at a separation. If you are not in separation, you are definitely in a cold energy between the two of you. There is some things being said that um, that may be pretty damaging to the relationship. You may feel like you're successful at the moment, um, but uh, be cautious with... Um, with what is said because they may walk away. They're going through a rebirth. They're going to come out of this time. Um, they're going to come out of June a different person, transformed, seeing the world in a different way. And uh, yeah, so the, I see this, honestly, I see it split down the middle, um, probably because you are both Tauruses here, but they may stay, they may go. Uh, it all depends on the energy with throughout the month um, and how you guys are treating each other, how um, you guys are treating the relationship. Um, sometimes, Taurus, you have to do what's best for you and take the higher road and walk away from the connection because right now, at the moment, this is not a good situation. So for the majority of you, you will probably end this relationship, um, but some of you will stick it out through the rebirth, um, but I do see it coming to an end by August for um, those of you that are going through this transformation. All right, Taurus dealing with Gemini. Very, very um, fun, adventurous. The two of you are um, having a lot, a, a lot of fun. Not really too many cares in the world. Could be leaving your responsibilities behind. Be cautious of that because you may be too uh, adventurous at the moment. But you're both coming in pretty equal on energy. Um, both riding in on horses towards each other. This will be very successful for those of you dealing with a Gemini. Um, there's passion. There's fun. There's adventure. I see this lasting through June and throughout the year um, for those of you dealing with a Gemini. All right, Cancer. Cancer is coming out of a heartbreaking situation with you. Um, you're successfully moving forward away from this Cancer. Um, yeah, there could have been a pretty big argument when you left Taurus and it left this person feeling brokenhearted. They are missing you very much so. Um, they're going to try to come back uh, in the month of June, probably around the fourth week, to see if you guys can make this a go. It will be in your court, but for the majority of you, I do see you moving on, moving forward, and heading towards somebody new by um, the fall of this year. Um, but for the moment, you're having a, you're enjoying yourself, enjoying your friends, enjoying your family, um, you know, going out, having fun. But this cancer is feeling pretty heartbroken over this situation. All right, if you are dealing with a Leo, hello, beautiful energy. The two of you, for one, you could be getting pregnant in the month of June or your Leo partner could be getting pregnant. Um, but this is creating a new life together, one that's going to bring much success. This is uh, a very um, power couple. This could be a divine 
connection as well. Um, you guys have gone through the hardships of that journey. You are finding success and coming back together. You guys are um, creating a whole new life together. This I see as a, a life partner at the very least. Um, so Taurus, if this resonates with you, this Leo is a divine partner and you've, you've healed over the heartache the betrayal and everything else. And now you're coming together, um, ready to create this new life, um, together for some of you, you're even creating a new company, but this is just, this is amazing. This is very successful, um, connection. All right. Virgos. If you're a Taurus dealing with a Virgo, they're being sneaky and doing things behind your back. Um, for this group of you, um, you're successfully going to uh, break away from this connection. There's been a lot of fighting, a lot of uh, betrayal. There's been this Virgo's, um, for this group of you, they are cheating, um, sneaking out during the night, doing things behind your back. Um, you're going to successfully see through this. Things are going to come to light and you are going to walk away from this Virgo um, in the month of June, if not June, the you know, the beginning of July at the latest, um, this is all coming to a head. All right. If you are dealing with a Libra, you are getting a, a second opportunity. The two of you could be in separation right now, um, but you are moving towards them. You're putting all things, uh, you know, all things aside, leaving the hurt behind. The two of you have been together before in this lifetime and separated on not such good terms, but this is the universe giving you a second opportunity to um, have success with this Libra and it will be successful. I do see a marriage by the end of 2020, um, October of 2020, actually for this group of you. Um, yeah, yeah, most definitely this Libra is coming back a totally different person. They have gone through a death and rebirth and they're going to knock you off your feet. They're going to be not what you expected, um, but so much more. They have really elevated um, to a higher level. Amazing connection between the two of you. You really ground each other. All right. If you are a Taurus dealing with Scorpio, um, they are uh, reaching out to you, sending you messages, wanting to connect, wanting to get together. Um, this is fun. This is flirty. Uh, try not to project past hurts on this person because this can be successful if you let it. Um, you're kind of uh, being hesitant because of a relationship that you've gotten out of in the past that was very rocky, that did not end well, um, and you're not quite healed from that for some of you, but you're projecting your worries and your fears from this relationship onto this person because this person is very carefree, fun, um, you know, all about, you know, being flirty and, and just, you know, cute little stuff and it's it's reminding you of relationships of the past so um make sure you lay these swords down and enter this relationship um with a with a clear heart a clear mind and this is going to be very successful in the month of june all right if you are dealing with a sagittarius hello they are your dream come true um the two of you wow look at that if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, this is going to be very successful in building a family, um, building a home, building a, uh, building your dreams is what I just heard. The two of you could have kids from separate uh, relationships because I do see blended families here or grandkids that are coming to stay. Uh, but you could have been with this Sag Sagittarius in the past and it didn't end well as well. Um, but you guys are both putting that behind you. You are um, approaching this Sagittarius for the majority of you, and this is going to turn out very happy. Um, I do see in the month of June, you guys finding a home together um, and starting to build and, and put together that home. This is going to be very successful. This is a divine partner as well for this group of you. Um, you have gone back and forth between this person three to five times in the last three to seven years. Um, but this time you're coming together for good. All right. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're stuck in a situation within their own thoughts, within their own mind. They're fearing leaving a situation, uh, due to, uh, le like losing, losing their ass is what I just heard, but, um, they're still connected to somebody. They're in a situation where, uh, they cannot, Break, where they cannot see a way to break out of. Um, for some of you, they're in a, a job situation where they feel they have to keep working there because they don't, you know, they don't see 
the ability to leave just yet. So you guys are at separ in separation, like physically, like location. They are going to get out of that mindset. They're worried about leaving um, the people, the, the company owners or whatever. They're worried about leaving them high and dry, but they're going to see what opportunities come in for them they're going to get a big um a big opportunity in the last week of june that's going to bring the two of you closer together now back to the ones in a relationship um they are stuck in a relationship with somebody fear of um losing money or not having enough money when they leave the situation is their main issue here they are going to see through that but not until august um, so it will be successful after the month of August. So try to be understanding. Try to be patient with this person. They are coming. Um, they just have to do it in their own time. All right. Aquarius. Aquarius is letting go of all the self-doubt, all the um, inner conflict between giving you a chance. There was a lot of fighting before. Um, the two of you uh, were together before and split up. They had other people. They had other... Uh, you know, you had competition. This this had to end this way because there was a lot of change that both of you had to do. Um, they are getting out of that inner conflict about giving you a second chance. They have gotten rid of the competition. This is coming together in the month of June. We'll stay together through the month of June. And I do see it being successful through the rest of the year um, for this group of you, Taurus and Aquarius. All right, Pisces. Pisces had this for Aries, I believe, too. Um, they're just leaving all over the place. Uh, Pisces uh, are in the process of moving into their spiritual path. They have had an awakening lately, and they are seeing that they need more out of a relationship, more out of a connection. That more is leading them back to you. The two of you will be very successful because you will um, be on a spiritual level higher than the two of you were if you were together in the past. For the majority of you, I see that you weren't with them in the past. But, well, okay, let me take that back. For the majority of you, you were a third party to this person. You were never, like, with them, like, in the public eye. Like, the public didn't know you were together, but you have been with this person. Um, they could have ghosted you in the past, but they're leaving a situation now. They're leaving that other person they're going to have to take some time to heal. I don't see this coming together in the month of June, but I do see the two of you together within the next five to eight weeks because they need a little bit of time, a little breather in between to figure out their own things. Now, if you are already paired with a, a Pisces, they are uh, walking away from this situation, leaving on not, not such good terms um, because you guys just aren't on the same path together. You're not wanting the same things uh, in the, in life, in the future. So the two of you are um, splitting if you are already paired with a Pisces um, as far as married. This person's this person is very intuitive though and they are like leveling up as we speak. They are getting in downloads. They're becoming more intuitive, more psychic. Um, you know, this person is really connecting with their spiritual self and they're going to bring a lot to the relationship and the two of you will have success together. Um, doing your soul's purpose, your uh, your path together. So, all right, Taurus, that is what I have for you guys. Ultimately, um, in the month of June, you're finding success and you are putting yourself first and going after what you want. Your long-term energy for um, your commitments is coming down to the four of wands, having a lot of success, a stable foundation, a beautiful home with somebody that you truly love. Um, you, some of you just may have to get over some heartbreak first and get rid of some toxic energy, <laughs> but our toxic thoughts, I mean, not toxic energies. I don't think you're in a toxic relationship for the majority of you, but I do feel that you have to let go of these toxic thoughts. You have to let go of the past and not project it onto new overall Taurus. You guys are going to have a beautiful month of June, a lot of successful relationships and a lot of happiness coming in for you guys after you've kind of had a little bit of a rough, uh, year for, or two <laughs> or three. So, um, just enjoy these new relationships. They're going to turn out beautifully. I send you guys all love, light and God bless.